Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the best export settings for Premiere Pro. And also, if you've ever come across this issue where you go to export a project and it comes out super desaturated, really low contrast, I'm actually gonna show you the fix for that as well. I started running into that problem a couple months ago and I just couldn't figure out why whenever I would export a project, it would look so different than it did in the program. And after a ton of research, I actually came across the solution for that. So I'm gonna show you guys that fix as well in this video. So either way, I'm gonna show you guys the best export settings for Premiere Pro to get the highest quality videos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so I already have Premiere Pro open here and I already have a project set up here. Now this is just a little bit of a test project. I just have a couple clips here just for the sake of this video. So I have my couple clips in here and then I also have a couple adjustment layers with my LUTs on there. So I'm not gonna dive too much into that today. If you guys are interested in learning a little bit more of coloring and how I do my LUTs, let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll do a separate video on that. But let's jump into the export settings, okay? So one thing I should note, this project is 1920 by 1080p. That's what I do most of my YouTube projects in and then I actually just upscale export it. It's going to look a little bit better, especially when I'm shooting on the EOS R, the bit rate so high that it still kind of holds up when I upscale it to 4k so basically what i'm trying to say is no matter if you're working in a 1080p timeline or 4k timeline the export settings are going to be the same okay so we finished our video so it's now time to export it i'm going to hit command m that's just a shortcut to pull up our export settings here or you can go over here to the old school method go up to file export media pulls it up the same way same thing now this has some custom settings in it but i'm going to start from scratch for you guys so format, we want H.264, that is right. Preset, we're going to go down to YouTube 4K Ultra HD. Let's go ahead and hit that. So output name, you guys already know what this is. Go ahead and just select where you want it to go on your computer or on your hard drive. So I just have kind of a test folder here and I'm just gonna select that. Okay, so now we're gonna switch up a few things. Now we're gonna hit video here, scroll down a bit, render at maximum depth. I'm gonna select that. Hardware encoding, that's good. Okay, bitrate settings, VBR pass. You can either have it on one pass or two pass. So the difference between one pass and two pass, basically one pass is going to be a bigger file size, but it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Two pass basically goes through once kind of reading everything and then goes through a second time to kind of optimize the export. So as far as quality goes, it's going to be the same, but two pass is gonna give you a smaller file size, but it will take about twice as long. So if you're going for the highest quality export and the most optimized file, I'm going to do two pass. Target bitrate 40 is gonna be fine. And the last thing here, move down here, hit use maximum render quality, we're going to select that. And that's just gonna give you the highest quality export. Now, if you've never had the problem with getting the low contrast and desaturated look on your exports, don't worry about this next step at all. You would just hit export and that's what your project's gonna look like. Now, if you have ran into that problem that I was talking to you guys about where your export looks totally different than it does in Premiere Pro, pay attention to this next step here. We are going to go to effects. The Lumetri look LUT, we're going to select that and then we're going to hit this drop down and then hit select. So you guys are going to want to select this file that will be the first link in my description below. I found it off of, I believe, one of Adobe's website, but it kind of seemed like a sketchy like forum website. So I might just like host it on a Google Drive link so you guys can just get it whenever in case it goes away. So download that file, put it somewhere secure on your computer, and then just select that file when you get to this step. We're going to select that. Now for whatever reason, I don't know why, it now says applied, it says none, but it actually is there. If you look at this window right here, you can just check and uncheck this and you can immediately see what that LUT is doing. So you just wanna make sure that is applied. And again, even if it says none, it's still there. Just kind of uncheck this and check this. Make sure you see a difference and then you should be good to go. So now you're just gonna hit export and then boom, that's it. So that is the export settings I use for Premiere Pro. And let me show you guys the difference between the two different exports in case you are running into that problem. So I have the two different files here and like I was saying, there is a big difference, at least in my exports. I don't know exactly the whole reason behind it, but I believe it's some type of a gamma issue. I don't know if it's on the computer end or the footage end, maybe what camera you use. I'm not sure, but like I said, there's really not a whole lot of information out there. So hopefully this can help you guys out. I actually saw someone talk about it this morning and I just said, okay, I'm finally gonna make a video on this. So you guys can kind of see the difference between these two files right here. I'm kind of clicking back and forth between them. Immediately you can tell a difference 
One is a little bit lighter, a little desaturated. Um, so I've just found if you add that little LUT on there, that gamma fix, it will make the file look how it's supposed to and it will match how it looks in Premiere Pro. All right guys, so that's it. That's how I export Premiere Pro projects to get a really high quality looking video. Hopefully this could help you guys out and especially if you're running into that glitch like myself. It was super frustrating for me. So even if I can help out one of you guys, I feel a lot better about it. So let me know in the comments below if anyone else has run into that issue or maybe everything's running fine for you but you still found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below. So guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, drop it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel out. If you're new around here, consider hitting that sub button. I'd really appreciate it. I try to make a lot of content trying to help other creators create better looking content. That is a mouthful. And my name is Johnny. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.